Hey guys, and welcome to Car Guy 1999 Reviews as well as Quirk Auto Dealers. Today we have the 2021 Mazda CX-5 Grand Touring Reserve with the 2.5 liter turbo. 2.5 liter turbo produces 227 horsepower and two, or 310 pound feet of torque. Absolutely beautiful spec on this one. Gray on black with brown contrast. 2021 brought a mild refresh to the CX-5 in terms of a whole new infotainment system. Uh, total price on this one's 36,945. Finished in machine gray metallic. Yeah, it's a brand new infotainment system uh, and a couple minor changes here and there. Here's that brand new infotainment. Oh, that's... You can hear the change, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty easy to use. All your main controls are all through here. Um, auto hold, so it'll hold your brake at a stoplight. Your parking brake, AC seats, and all that fun stuff. Without further, oh wait. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Didn't think the sun was shining straight into there. All the materials that the CX-5 uses and Mazda in general uses are all very, very nice uh, and very, very luxurious for the price point. Let's pop up that backup camera. Great quality. And let's head out before the next train comes because I had to stop filming because the train was here <laughs> oh my there's a ton of torque in this thing. You do have paddle shifters behind the wheel. Uh, I really haven't used them too much. Might as well you try them now. The automatic does an awesome job in normal drive mode anyway, so. Not much need to use the paddle shifters. Mazda prides itself on making the best driving vehicles possible. Uh, each and every Mazda I've driven has been one of, if not the best driving car in its segment. CX-5 with the turbo is no exception. Very, very sporty feel to everything, and it just feels ten to $20,000 more than what its actual price is. And that's pretty hard to do. A lot of manufacturers cheap out on a lot of their materials.
but not Mazda. Brake pedal is very, very sporty-esque uh, without being very, very bitey on the first initial press. Um, it has a little bit of dead zone, which is good. Um, you won't be flying through the windshield every time you touch the brakes. Uh, but once you're past that dead zone, it gets very, very bitey and very sensitive very quick. Um, makes it pretty sporty. In the aspect of you always feel like you have a ton of braking power. Steering is very precise, um, nicely weighted in sport mode. Disengaged sport mode, it lightens up a good amount, but no, sport mode's where it's at. about What Mazda's done quite well uh, is not make the CX-5 sound like your typical four-cylinder. That's one of my biggest complaints with a lot of cars is they'll sit there, they'll use a four-cylinder, especially with the Envision in front of us, a NA four-cylinder, and it just sounds completely raspy, and it really ruins the luxurious experience of the car. Audi is one of the biggest offenders of this, putting 2.0s in their $50,000 luxury cars. That's, that's not very good. Whereas this one sounds very, very good. Uh, it's not that raspy, typical four-cylinder sound. It's very, very nice and refined. Seating, very, very comfortable for the hour I've been in the car. It's all really surprisingly great. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.